baiting your ex back into town is the best way to go. What? Did you purposely lure Terry McDermott back to town and uh, tell me that I heard you home, right? Just, just calm down. Let me explain. Wait, calm down? Um, okay. Do you have any idea how big of a freak that this guy is? I'm sorry. Um, he's beyond dangerous. Ryan, he cannot be allowed to set a foot back into this town. I felt the same way. And, and you're, you're going to lay the bait to bring him back? We're, we're going to be ready for him this time, Jonathan. We have security on Annie. We have security on Emma. He's going to make a move for Emma, and we nail him. Okay, his daughter wasn't the only target. He was after Lily, too. You remember? And now that Jack's wrecked my marriage with her, how, how am I supposed to protect her from that s And you thought that he had somehow tracked you and Emma down. Well, Lily and I were at the penthouse that night, too. I don't think that he was lurking outside to catch you, Annie. I think that he's stalking Lily. And that he was waiting for a moment just to get her alone. And it's just his good luck that you had an asthma attack. Because he watched you be taken to the hospital by Jamal and he followed you. That could be true. Oh, I know it's true. I know it's true, but even if I was wrong, Terry McDermott knows Lily lives in Pine Valley. He knows where to find her. At, at least Tim was always surrounded by adults. If you lure Terry back to Pine Valley, you may as well hang a target around Lily's neck. You're absolutely right. You're 100% right. Lily needs protection, too. Well, she can't get it if I can't be anywhere near her. Now, hold on a minute. I have, I have around-the-clock security on Annie and Emma. I'll just do the same for Lily. Or you could just ditch the plan to lure Terry back to Pine Valley. Mm -hmm. Ryan? Hey, it's a bad idea. No, it's not. You're wrong. It's not a bad idea. It's... Is it risky? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit risky. All right? It is. But it's the only way to stop Terry for good. It's the only way to put him away for good. And it's the only way to make sure that Annie, Emma, and Lily are going to be safe. Not to mention every other innocent young girl. Look, I, I didn't like the idea either. I am terrified for Emma, but Ryan's security team really has been amazing. And... You know, I don't want to have to worry all the time about Terry being out there somewhere. I'd rather have him behind bars where he can't hurt my daughter or Lily or anybody else ever again. And I know you want that too, little brother. No, I do. I do. I definitely do. All right. So it's settled, right? I'll tell Jack and I'll get uh, protection on no. the ASA. No, 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 no. I'm still Lily's husband, Ryan. Let me tell Jack. Emma, honey, you okay? She yeah. just found out there's a carnival in town. Oh, cool. You want to go? Yeah. Oh, but, sweetie, I'm sorry. Oh, well, uh, carnival, that sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it does sound fun, but unfortunately I don't think we're, we can go. Why? Oh, sweetie, um, you know Mommy doesn't like being around lots of people these days, and uh, carnivals have lots of people, so I'm, I'm sorry, Emma. <laughs> You know what? I just had an idea. I have an idea. Why don't you draw me a picture of your favorite carnival ride, and by the time you're finished, I will have figured out a way to make you and your mom very happy. Um, Ryan, look, I know you mean well, but you can't be promising oh, her. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you say it, there's something you should know about me. I never, ever make a promise that I can't keep. I would love to take Emma to the carnival. Me too. But we can't be in crowds, Ryan, especially after Terry I'm comes. not asking to put your child in any kind of danger. That's not what I'm asking. Just... Hello. It's fantastic. It's perfect. Great. Thank you. Emma, guess what? The carnival opens in half an hour. <gasps> Ryan, please don't get her hopes up. But only to some VIPs, Emma. Actually, the VIPs. Do you know what a VIP is? Well, good then, because you happen to be one, right? Because so is your mom, and so is Dennis, and because, you know, I know you guys, I get to come too. And so we get the carnival all to ourselves for a whole hour. Isn't that great? Mommy, we're going. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do we uh, say to Ryan, sweetie? Thank, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, there it is. Can you, can you see the lights? Can you see the lights? Come on. Come on. Come on.